And Carlos Ariando is another of the many selfless people in Boston. This is a guy who lost one son in Iraq, another to suicide, a man familiar with loss. So when Carlos saw a man who had lost both his legs in that blast, he didn't hesitate. He helped. I talked with him just a short time ago. Carlos, you assisted this man who lost his legs. Tell me what you saw and how did you respond to him? Well, when, when I jumped the second fence into the explosion, first explosion, I landed in a puddle of blood. I was holding an American flag in my left side. In front of me was this young man who was with no limbs. His legs was pretty much torn apart to the side of the sidewalk. I, I grab a teacher and I rip it apart and I give one to him. Somebody provide him with something else for the other leg. So that's when we pretty much got him secured to move him out of there. Somebody approached real quick with a wheelchair and I, that's when I pick him up on the ground and I place him in the wheelchair. You lost your son Alex in Iraq. Your other son Brian died by suicide. You know how devastating loss feels. Was it that feeling that inspired you to save lives yesterday? Yes. Yes, you know, and, and then I, as I went along, you know, I was thinking of these kids' parents, you know. Did you do this in honor of your boys, Carlos? Uh, everything I do is in honor of my, of my boys, everything. I try not to forget them and help others in the time being, you know. Well, messages started going around on Facebook right after the blast describes Carlos to the T. The messenger, the late great Mr. Rogers. He shares advice that his mom gave him on how to always focus on the good. She would say, always look for the helpers. There, were, there will always be helpers, you know, even just on the sidelines. That's why I think that if news programs could make a conscious effort of showing rescue teams, of, of showing who medical people, a anybody who is coming into a place where there's a tragedy, to be, to be sure that they include that. Because if you look for the helpers, you'll know that there's hope.